my cannas were growing well and i thought it's going to bloom soon but i suddenly noticed lot of leaves were damaged and hadn't opened i wasn't sure what was wrong i was checking whether it is a hornworm or any other um caterpillars are damaging the leaves but i couldn't find anything like that in my plants and um it's not just in one or two the entire kenna plants had been uh, getting damaged day by day i can see the damage has been uh, increasing and i have no clue what is creating this damage and then when i took a closer look it looked like they have been stitched together um it literally like stitched um with the paste or with the with a needle like that when i unrolled the leaves i saw a shell um so it looks something is hiding inside the leaf uh, and the leaves are covered they're rolling the leaves on top of them and they're stitching it i wasn't sure what was doing that because i was able to see only the shell not the worm or a bug itself and then when i was doing the same thing in other leaves when i unrolled the leaves of the other canna plants i found a little worm and then i realized uh, my canna plants have become host to a fairly common creature throughout uh, the season especially in summer they are called as canna leaf roller and it can do quite a bit ugly damage to your plants and it stop the plants to flower the grub you see when you unroll the leaf in the in the larvae stage of the bit brown moth the adult moth lays her eggs on the surface of the leaves when the egg hatches they begin to feed on the leaves and as they grow fasten the unrolled leaves together with tidy sticky stitches and those sticky stitches what they um, do on, over the leaf that's what protect them from many creatures like birds or even from your the pest control that you spray on the leaves anything it doesn't reach the worms directly or the larvae directly so it gives a complete protection for them from any pest control that you apply or any natural pesticides so they are very smart because of the rolling technique that they have naturally um, as part of their life cycle the best way to control canna leaf over is to watch for the evidence of the moth and her eggs and the neat silky stitches on the leaves before they begin to unflower if you unroll a leaf and find a grub inside flick it out where a bird can enjoy it that's why i normally do any worms that i found in my garden i normally keep it in a spot uh, where the birds can access and that's a great protein for them I have shown you those in my previous videos as well and that's what I'm exactly planning to do here. So there are few ways that you can address this uh bug. One is you can apply BT. You can use it, you can search for BT and you can get it. And the next one is the homemade 3G solution which I have already posted previously in my channel. You can do that. but you have to apply twice a week at least in order to get rid of them completely so as i was going through this and finding them in my canna plants i started removing the damaged and infected leaves so infected parts of the canna leaves had been removed and you can still see this is the bug that is damaging the canna leaves and um, i'm i'm removing the entire uh, infected part of the leaf so any eggs or any uh, thing that is left from the bug is not uh, there in the leaf to further damage the leaves so i'm taking all those away and um, i don't want this to get mixed with any other plants in my garden 
so I'm removing this and I'm uh, going to trash them in a very secure way. And you can you can see the the impression and the damage that it created and what is left uh, in the leaves as a waste of these bugs. So I don't want to take a chance leaving them in my canna plants. If you see these kind of damages at the early stage, you can avoid um, major damage like this. I know there is something going wrong with my canna plants but I didn't pay close attention so you can see how big they have grown now and um, the damage that they caused was so big. Look at this is the this is the, the the biggest one I have seen in the plant and you can see how big it is and this can easily damage um, the, the whole leaf in few minutes. I hope this video was informative and I will talk to you on another Know Your Bugs video. Until then, take care and stay safe. Bye.